modulation property of Fourier transform. Fourier transform of xt is x omega and Fourier transform of yt is y omega then we will find out the Fourier transform of product of xt and yt Fourier transform of xt and product of xt and yt is integration of xt into yt e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now we know that inverse Fourier transform of x omega is xt which is 1 upon 2 pi integration of x omega e to the power j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now the Fourier transform of product of xt and yt is to write this expression I will substitute xt by this expression. So the Fourier transform of a product of xt and yt is now integration of 1 upon 2 pi then integration x lambda e to the power j lambda t d lambda yt e to the power minus j omega t. I have used lambda here in place of omega which is just change in variable. Now I will change the order of integration. 1 upon 2 pi is constant so this will come out now changing the order of integration first we will integrate with respect to t and then we integrate with respect to lambda so x x of lambda then integration of yt e to the power minus j omega minus lambda t dt d lambda. Now the term integration of yt e to the power minus j omega minus lambda t with respect to uh, t from minus infinity to plus infinity this is y omega minus lambda because y omega Fourier transform of yt. If I write the Fourier transform of yt, then it is integration of yt e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Here we have omega minus lambda, that's why this is y omega minus lambda. So now the Fourier transform of x 
xt product of xt and yt Fourier transform of product of xt and yt is 1 upon 2 pi integration of x lambda into y omega minus lambda d lambda and integration of x lambda y omega minus lambda from minus infinity to plus infinity this is convolution of x lambda in fact x omega and y omega x omega convolve with y omega so Fourier transform of product of xt and yt is 1 upon 2 pi into convolution of x omega and y omega where x omega and y omega are the Fourier transforms of xt and yt respectively we can write this property in terms of f also if Fourier transform of xt is xf and Fourier transform of yt is yf then the Fourier transform of product of xt and yt is simply xf convolved with yf now let's see one example of this property Fourier transform of cos 2 pi fmt is 1 upon 2 pi sorry 1 by 2 del f minus fm plus 1 by 2 del f plus fm and Fourier transform of cos 2 pi fct is 1 by 2 del f minus fc plus 1 by 2 del f plus fc so product for a transform of product of cos 2 pi fmt and cos 2 pi fct is convolution of one by two del f minus fm plus one by two del f plus fm with one by two del f minus fc plus one by two del f plus fc so Fourier transform of cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct is now convolution of one by two del f minus fm and one by two del f minus fc that is one by four del f minus fc minus fm plus convolution of 
1 by 2 del f minus fm with 1 by 2 del f plus fc that is 1 by 4 del f plus fc minus fm plus convolution of 1 by 2 del f plus fm with 1 by 2 del f minus fc which is 1 by 4 del f minus fc plus fm plus convolution of 1 by 2 del f plus fm with 1 by 2 del f plus fc that is 1 by 4 del f plus fc plus fm that's how we can find out the Fourier transform of signal using the modulation property of Fourier transform now we can draw this spectrum The spectrum has four impulses. Let us assume that Fc is greater than Fm. So we have four frequencies Fc plus Fm, then Fc minus Fm, minus Fc, minus Fc minus Fm, and minus Fc plus Fm. And these are the four impulses. One by four del F minus FC plus FM. One by four del F minus FC minus FM. One by four del F plus FC minus FM. 1 by 4 del f plus fc plus fm so this is the frequency spectrum of cos 2 pi fmt cos 2 pi fct we can find out the position of impulses by equating this argument to 0 like if we make fc minus f minus fc minus fm 0 then this will give the frequency of this impulse and the frequency is fc plus fm likewise we can find out the position of impulses so this was the example of modulation property of Fourier transform.